This tutorial is designed as a guide for the DNA collection of offenders for submission to the State of Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation Criminalistics Laboratory. In order to greatly increase our efficiency and in response to the expansion of Iowa's DNA law to include most aggravated misdemeanors, we are changing how we collect DNA database samples. The following video shows the steps of a collection using the new DNA database kits released in 2013, as shown on the left. If you have remaining collection kits containing cotton tip swabs, like those shown on the right, please use them prior to starting on the new kit model. Also, please note that this does not change how DNA samples should be collected for casework samples. Please continue to use cotton-tipped swabs for the collection of known samples for submission to the casework section. The new DNA database collection kits are distributed in white return envelopes. Inside the white envelope are all the supplies needed to correctly collect an offender DNA sample. When you are prepared to collect a DNA sample, Start by removing all the database collection kit contents from the white envelope. The first step in the collection of a DNA database sample is the complete documentation of the necessary information. You will see a kit number displayed on both the data envelope and the DNA sample card. Ensure that the two numbers match. If they do not match, Please cross off the kit number on the DNA sample card and write the kit number from the data envelope underneath. This notifies laboratory personnel that they are corresponding to the same offender. Please keep your own record of the name of the individual that is collected with each kit number. This will be required should laboratory personnel need to contact you regarding a sample. It is essential for accurate DNA records that the requested information is filled out in completion. The front side is information pertaining to the offender. The back side needs to contain contact information for you, the collector. Laboratory staff often needs to contact collectors regarding submitted offender samples. In addition to the data envelope, some offender and collector information must also be recorded on the front of the DNA sample card. Once all the necessary documentation has been made, you are ready to move on to fingerprinting. Space for two right thumb fingerprints are provided on the back side of the DNA sample card. Expose the black ink provided to collect two prints. For your convenience, a moistened wipe is also included for cleanup. Be sure to use the provided gloves when collecting an offender DNA sample. Have the offender rinse their mouth with water to clean the oral cavity prior to collection. For best results, oral cavity should be moistened for collection. Open one of the two green swabs and swab one of the inside cheeks of the mouth. Swab vigorously for at least one minute, making sure good contact is made between the swab and cheek. Open the DNA sample card to reveal two pink circles. Press the swab onto the first circle. Do not rub. Be sure to press down with all sides of the swab. You will see a slowly developed color change to white 
where adequate contact was made. Discard the used green swab. Repeat the process with the second swab on the opposite cheek and deposit the sample on the second circle of the DNA sample card. Discard the second swab. Slide the DNA sample card into the data envelope. Please note it may be a snug fit. Simply work the data collection card side to side until it is within the data envelope. Close the envelope and seal it with the peel and stick adhesive strip. Place the data envelope in the white shipping envelope and seal. The written instructions provided in the kit may mention a manila envelope and a shipping seal. Our current kit design does not contain these items. Promptly mail your collected offender sample to the laboratory for processing.